Hey YouTube, so it's Tasha from DNA Royals here. Um, like I said, we were going to do the video on our collection last night. Unfortunately, we got a bit caught up. Um, there was things that we had to deal with last night, so we weren't actually able to do it. Um, so we will go ahead and show you a few animals in our collection. Now you'll have to bear with us because a few of them are in shed. Um, so they don't look as good as what they usually look like. Um, but this little dude here is our Enchi Hidden G Moma boy. Um, he is in shed, as you can see. Um, he's an absolutely stunning snake when he's, you know, when he's out of shed. <laughs> he's, he glows, he literally glows all the way down his door, so he's, he's amazing, he's really nice. Um, but he's a fidgety worm as well, <laughs> as you can see. So yeah, so that's the Enchi Hidden Gene Moma. We won't take too long on this video because there are quite a few animals to get through and obviously I don't want to, you know, I don't want this video running any longer than what it needs to really. So, we'll pop him back and grab the next one. So this dude here is our granite boy. Um, we have got a granite female which we'll get to a little bit later on. Stay there buddy. Um, how nice is he? He's beautiful. He's beautiful. Yeah, so that's the granite male. So these two, we're showing you both at the same time because they both make up the same project. Um, these two are a pair of dinkers. So this one here is the male. And then this one over here is the freshly shed female. And they're both trying to escape on me. <laughs> Stay there. Good girl. Stay there, buddy. So that's the the dinkers. So next up then, um, as I said, a lot of them are going into shed, so they don't look their best. Um, this guy here is our firefly yellow belly male. He's absolutely stunning. He's recently just come out of QT and uh, joined the rest of the collection. Um, we've got a, um, obviously the new animals are up in QT, so we'll do them at the end of this video. We'll do the main collection first, and then go up to QT and uh, show you the others. But isn't he lush? So this guy here is our current breeder, um, Spotnose Male. Um, he is proven. He was proven back in 2016, and he produced us a really nice looking um, Mojave Spotnose. Um, he is supposed to be 100% Heck Ghost as well, however, I haven't proven that out myself. Um, but hey, there's plenty of time to do it. We were thinking about putting this guy up for sale. Um, but I think I'm going to hold on to him actually because he's, you know, he's a quite a nice example. And there's some really nice spot nose combos out there now um, that we, you know, want to get a crack at. So uh, look at that for a head stamp. So up next then is a boy that we don't really uh, shout about to be honest, um, we should do, but we don't, oh, where are you going buddy, good boy. So this is, apologies for the lighting guys, there's sun coming through the window and it's, uh, it's not great to be honest, where are you going? So this guy here is our spectre, if I can get him to sit still for longer than two seconds. So he's currently being paid to our yellow belly female. Um, hoping for super stripes um, this season so that's him, I'll just pop him back before he decides to do a runner so this boy we've featured already um, a couple of times um, this is obviously our, our breeder faint male so faint is fire and paint together um, we actually have his daughter up on World of Ball Pythons, which we'll show you here in a second. I think she's actually in shed, so she's not going to look great, to be fair. But he is gorgeous. He's been to um, the Calico, um, the oh, Saturn, and um, what we think is a, is a single gene paint female. We held her back from the clutch because I wasn't quite sure whether she was a paint or a fire. Um, so with him having fire in him, obviously we're looking at super fires if um, she's fire and super paints if she's paint. So either way, it's not going to be a bad clutch. So I'll pop him back. So this guy then is our pastel het clown male, 100% het clown male, um, which until recently decided he didn't want to perform. Um, but he has now. We've had uh, 
a confirmed lock with our het clown female, 100% um, het clown female. So um, I'm not really sure what the odds are of hitting a pass or clown in that clutch. I think it's like one in 32 or one in 64, I don't know, something like that. Um, so yeah, hopefully, um, if we're lucky, we'll hit a pastel clown. But he's beautiful as well, he's so bright, it's unreal. Okay, so this boy here is our vanilla boy. Um, he's been paired to the fire female um, this season. Um, he will probably be up for sale after this season. Um, Hopefully as a proven breeder. Um, the big fire female is looking um, rather chunky, so I'm hoping he's done his job. But him, again, he's just so bright and light, and he's, oh, he's just gorgeous. I'm probably being biased because they're my snakes, obviously, but, you know, look at his face. Isn't he gorgeous? He's a good boy. Yeah. So, yeah, that's the vanilla male. So this guy here is um, one that I absolutely adore. Um, got this guy from Tony Wilson um, back a good while ago now. Um, but this is a Pastav Het Pied, 100% Het Pied. So Pastel Mojave, 100% Het Pied. Um, he's currently been breeding our Phantom 100% Het Pied female. Um, so obviously we've got uh, Pastel Pides, Mojave Pides, Phantom Pides, um, Pastel Pides. Um, uh, I think you can get Purple Passion Pides and Deep Purple Passion Pides. Um, not entirely sure how they're going to look because obviously we've never actually seen one. We've looked for some but we haven't seen one. It looks like you've got a bit of stuck shed on your head buddy. I'm going to get that off in a bit. But he is stunning. I love him to bits. So that's him. So this dude then is our not so little champagne male anymore. Um, we obviously he's still quite young, so we haven't paid him at all this season. But next season for sure. Um, unsure yet of what we're going to pair him with. Um, probably a multi gene female, and he's going to try and do a runner. Sorry, excuse me. But if he'll sit still long enough, I absolutely adore his head. His head is so yellow, it is just unreal. But he is gorgeous. So yeah, so that's a champagne male. So this guy is our GHI male. Um, he's actually quite light for a GHI. I think he's probably one of the lightest GHIs I've seen. Um, he was paired to our Mojave female this season. Um, although I'm not really holding much hope out for her. Um, I think she may have possibly reabsorbed, but hey, that's the way the cookie crumbles, eh? You know? Um, things we've got to remember as breeders is, that, you know, these guys are animals, you know, they'll, they'll do what they want to do, you know? So, which I respect that, that's fine, that's, you know, it's no issues. But yeah, so if not, we'll uh, keep him and put him to a few multi-gene females next season. Yeah, he's... He's amazing, he's so stunning. I love him, to pieces. So yeah, so that's a GHI male. So this dude here is our breeder male, um, Banana Enchi. And he's gonna try and do a runner, like most of mine do. But again, he's just amazing. Apologies for the lighting again, folks. I'll, um, I'm hoping next week when the clip comes, I'll be able to do these in, in the light tent so they'll look a lot better. Um, but yeah, so that's him. Sorry, I forgot to mention actually that the um, the banana enchi has actually been paired to the leopard and to the cinnamon pinstripe female. Um, so hoping for some nice babies from them. Um, so moving on with the banana stuff then. Um, this is a banana pinstripe, as many of you have probably guessed already by now. Um, he's still a barber at the moment. Um, obviously, as you can see, he's developing his spots and stuff. Um, quite nicely, he's a bit of a chunky monkey as well. Good boy, you know. Yes. Um, absolutely no idea what we're going to do with him next season yet. Um, again, probably a multi-gene female. Um, I haven't really, haven't really got plans for this guy. I just, I just absolutely adore him. He's just gorgeous. Anybody? Yeah. So that's a banana pin, guys. 
So this is the faint female. Um, now, as I said, she is in shed, so she doesn't look her best. Um, usually she's more of like a sandy, orangey colour. Um, but yeah, she's getting a big lass now. Um, I think she's about 1,000 grams now. Um, so, depends what she does. It'll be depending on whether she goes next season or not. But she's been an absolute pest um, with feeding. Like, she, she's actually 2014. Um, but she decided that she'd go through a stage where she wouldn't touch anything unless it had a pulse. So, um, but luckily we've converted her back off uh, live now and she's now back on to um, defrosted. But she'll take a defrost multi, defrost wrap, whatever you give to her really. So, that's really good. So yeah, so that's our faint female. So this lovely lady by here um, is a Blanche. So she is a black pastel Enchi. Um, just part of the Enchi army that we've got here. Obviously, those of you who know me know how much we love Enchi. Um, we're currently building the Enchi army, ready to produce some really nice combos. Um, apart from the banana Enchi pairings, I don't think we have any Enchi pairings this season. However, next season is going to be all about the Enchi. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, stay tuned, folks, and watch this space, as they say. So, yeah, so that's a Blanche. So, this is the female granite. So, she's the other half of the granite um, duo. Um, she's got a bit of an attitude. Um, nothing too major. And she's kind of sat there now going, come on, come a bit closer, I dare you. <laughs> but I love her. Her patterns are so reduced, and she's got... It's almost as if it's like this blotchy all the way down her, her dorsal. And it's like that pretty much all over her. Um, sorry, you'll have to excuse me sniffing. Ooh. But yeah, so that's the granite female. Chunky monkey. So this girl here, um, a lot of people usually ask to see this girl. Um, she is our extreme line yellow belly female. Um, now a lot of people have turned around and said, oh, is there anything else going on inside her? And we were like, no, 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 she's, uh, I say inside her, with her genetics even. Um, but they're like, no, no, we bought her as a straight up, um, extreme line yellow belly, um, from a gentleman called David Baldacino. Um, fantastic gentleman, um, really knowledgeable with his snakes. Got a fantastic collection. I can't really remember what his page name is to tell you, um, but I will try and find a link for it. Um, but yeah, she's amazing. She's 1,200 grams now, so she will be definitely on the roster for next season. But look at that for a belly. She is absolutely amazing. And she's amazing. Um, again, no idea what the plans are for her next season. Um, thinking possibly um, entry hinge Mooma would be a good one. Um, but again, like I said, there's no rush, you know. These girls, they're animals, they'll do what they want to do when they want to do it, really. And she's going to un untangle herself and show how beautiful she is. Say hi. Like, go away, you disturbed me. She is an absolutely beautiful girl. So, moving on. So, this lady here is our orange dream yellow belly female. Um, we don't really show her off a lot, to be honest. I mean, we used to when she was younger, but not so much anymore. Um, no idea why we don't, because she's gorgeous, you know. Um, but yeah, she's, blah, 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 what did I wear her as? About 1,400 grams, something like that. Um, so again, not this season, but next season. Um, and we've, we've got a corker of a pairing um, that she's going to be going to. We're not going to be letting on at the moment. Um, but watch this space, guys. Hopefully, 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 we'll have some nice, uh, nice combos from her. I'll just go. I'm going to show your belly. So, 
and there's a baby. Beautiful lady. Look at that blush in her sides. But she is gorgeous. Okay, so, sorry, trying to wrangle snake and do video at the same time. Okay, so we'll move on. Right, so this girl, um, she was going to be bred this year. Um, she hit 1,550 grams and then decided that she was going to go on a complete binge and not feed at all. Um, so we made the decision to pull her from breeding this year. Um, so we'll just feed her up and go again next year, you know. Um, as I've already mentioned, you know, guys, these are animals. They'll do what they want to do, when they want to do it. Um, but overall, their, their health and well-being is, you know, is the main concern. Um, she has dropped a little bit of weight. She's probably down to about 1,400 grams now, just from where she hasn't bothered feeding. Although last week, um, sorry, not last week, this week, she did take um, a 35-gram multi and a large wiener. So we're hoping that she's going to come back on now. Uh, she's got a bit of a temper as well. She's got a little bit of an attitude going on. She's going to pop her head out, so. But she's, in my opinion, she is what a pied should be. She's got the nice, um, the, 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 you know, the balance of colour, um, pattern and white. Um, and this, this, this cracks me up, this does. It's just random, just black scales and a dot. But we weren't fortunate enough to get the um, get any sort of smiley face in her though. Um, but that's okay. I like these these crazy like tram line almost things, the breakers across the dorsal there. And uh, yeah, as you can see, she is a chunky monkey. And so she hasn't lost masses of weight, you know. But like I said, next season. You know, and next season we'll probably put her to our past half het pied male anyway and go for some um, uh, killer mojave pieds. That'd be nice. So, yeah, pastel pied. Okay, so this is our big pastel calico girl. Um, now she is deep, deep, deep in shed. Um, usually she's a lot lighter along here. Um, she's not very happy about it either, Vanessa, to be honest. Um, she's been paired to the bumblebee um, this time round, so I'm hoping for some um, super pastel spider calicos. Um, that'd be quite nice. Um, but again, she'll do what she wants to do, so we'll just wait and see. So yeah, pastel calico. Okay, so this is another part of the Enchi army. Um, this is our super pastel Enchi female. Um, now she is quite a quite a large female. She's still quite a young female. Um, this is her first season going this year. Um, now she's been paired to our friend's boy, um, Beppo the clown. Um, obviously in hope of producing some hats. Um, a pastel Enchi hat would be really nice. Um, but again, it's a case of is she is she not is she is she not, whatever. Don't care. You know she goes she goes she don't she don't. Either way, she is absolutely stunning. She's an amazing snake. Um, I'd love to be able to show you her head if she's going to let me. Come here, sweetie. Yeah, there we go. What's that for a head? She is absolutely amazing. I love her. She's gorgeous. So yeah, so that's a super pastel entry. Okay, now this girl, I don't really want to have her out for long because we are waiting for an ovulation, which I think is coming. Um, her tail's actually quite slimmed down now and she's got this, this bulge here coming. Um, so this is our black pastel trick female. Um, she's been paired to the spot nose boy. So I'm hoping for the three Gina. Or some other trick combinations. Um, black pastel trick male would be nice, actually. Um, don't go down there, sweetheart. Okay. Again, apologies for the lighting, guys. It's not great, you know. So I'm going to go and check her back because I don't really want to disturb her for too long. All right. Okay, so this girl um, is probably the only one of ours that has actually earned herself a nickname. 
Um, so this is a phantom het pied female, 100% het pied female. Um, her, <laughs> her nickname is Evil Bitch Face, and for good reason. She does not like anybody at all. You open a rub and she hisses at you. You get close enough and she'll try and bite you. Um, you know, so coming to take eggs off her is going to be fun. Um, but she's the girl that was... Good girl, good girl, good girl. She's the girl that was paid to our past of het pied male. Um, so hoping for a couple of little pied combinations from there. Um, not too sure where she is on her cycle. She's building really nicely and she's slamming food like there's no tomorrow. So we're probably still early, early stages at the moment with her. Um, but yeah, coming to take eggs off her is going to be fun. So moving on then. So again, another one that's going into shed. Um, I swear they like to do synchronised shedding on me. <laughs> um, but this is our black pewter possible window granite female. Um, now window granite is a new gene that's, um, that's come about. Um, there's only a select few people working with it and not a lot is known about it at the moment. Um, I do know that it works well with calico um, combinations and yellow belly combinations. Um, but we shall see. Uh, this girl, she's 1450 grams now. Um, so next season for Madam. Um, again, no idea what to put her with. Possibly a sugar combination, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. But yeah, so that's our black pewter possible window granite female. So this little lady um, is a lace black back female. Um, the iridescence is coming off here is crazy. Again, she's 1400 grams, so she's a next year, um, next year breeder. Um, probably throw the banana pin male to her actually next season. Um, banana pin lace black back would be pretty cool actually. Don't know, we'll see. We'll see. Like I said, plenty of time, no rush. And she's stunning. She's off her of food at the moment, but she's uh only just gone through this to be honest, because since I've had her and I've had her since when she was smaller, you know. Um but since I've had her she's always been uh you know a really good feeder. Um never really missed and it's only been the last two meals that she's missed. So yeah, so that's a lace black back female. So this girl is my, one of my absolutely favourite animals in my whole collection. Um, she is one on the dark side, um, which her dark colours are not actually showing very well because of this crappy lighting. Um, but this is our sable girl. Again, she's about 1,400 grams, 1,450, something like that. Um, so she's a next year. Um, what to put to her? What to put to her? No idea. I've got a clue. But again, plenty of time to figure that out and see what's what but she is an absolute gannet she has never ever 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 even in blue ever missed a field <laughs> you know she absolutely adores her food she's gorgeous so yeah so that's a sable female so out of the whole collection then this is my most famous uh, my most favorite girl um yes yeah, she's a normal um, but she was my first ever Royal Python. Um, now I got her, I had her for free, um, just because she's got some kink in along her back. So she's got that there. Um, she's got a few others down towards her tail. Um, I've had this girl since she was a baby baby. I had her back in 2011. Um, again, sweet, really sweet natured girl. Um, we did take her to the vet just in case just to you know double check that those kinks weren't going to cause her any any of an issue and I mean you know look at her body condition it hasn't you know she's sound as a pound she eats well she poos well um she is pet only 100% pet only she will never ever 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 be bred from um but I keep her because you know she was my first girly I love her to bits her temperament is amazing you know, and, um, you know, as you can see, look, you know, she'll actually sit, the, well, she's not going to do it now. She'll let you stroke her head. You know, that that's how amazing this girl is, you know. I, I adore her. I really adore her. Oh, sweetheart. 
So yeah, this is Dakota. Right, so this girl then is Saturn. Um, she's the one who has recently ovulated. Um, bless her, she's absolutely huge from like there. You can actually see where her body goes out um, from there down. So she's still got a little bit of swelling going on there. Um, we'll try not to stress her out too much. I don't want her out for too long. Um, so like I said, we're on egg watch with her. So I'll just go and put her back. Um, but yeah, that's Saturn, bred to the faint male. So this girl then was our Mojave that was bred to the GHI boy. Um, what can I say about her really? She went through a stage where she was building, lovely. Um, she looked like she was gearing up to ovulate. Um, and then she just went back to normal. She just didn't eat, she didn't do anything really. Um, now she's back on food. Um, but I think we're going to leave it alone with her now. We're just going to continue the rest of the season with the rest of the females. And she is still looking quite podgy. So, who knows? And she's glowing. So, you know, who knows? You know, I know they say if they glow, they go. But, you know, you never know what they're going to do, really. She's not going to sit still for me. So, I'm going to go and pop her back. So, yeah, that's our Mojave, guys. So, this girl is our absolutely humongous, enormous... You know, I mean, look at the size of her. Um, fire female. Um, she's about three kilos, something like that. Um, she's in shed at the moment. Um, she's looking good for this season. I've had this girl since she was a baby as well. Um, I tried to breed her, breed her two seasons ago. She didn't go. So I'm hoping for this season. Um, we'll see. But she's been paired with the vanilla boy for some vanilla creams. So, woo! And she's going to try and dart off, bless her. So... I'll go and pop her back. So, oops, sorry. So this is the um, leopard female. Um, she's looking really, really good at the moment. Um, she's, again, you can't see it in the lighting, but she's been glowing, she's building, she's smashing food. Um, she's been locked several times now with the banana enchi boy. Um, so fingers crossed with clutches to come from her. I really want a banana and she leopard. Really want a banana and she leopard. We'll see. Beautiful girl. So this is another one of our huge, huge, huge girls. Um, this is a flora and fauna line calico female. Um, which again, she's been bred to the faint boy. Um, so ideally I just want a pink calico. Um, but a fire pink calico won't go amiss. So, yes. Right, I'm going to shimmy through the last couple because obviously we're up to 28 minutes now. I don't want this video to run for, like forever. Um, but yeah. Flora and Fauna Line Calico, guys. Right, again, having a look at this girl, she's, she's building. Um, she's doing quite well, actually. She's got a bit of scale separation going on. Um, so whether you can see it very well. Well, there's some scale separation going on. Um, again, yellow berry female paired to the Spectre Boy. So, fingers crossed. Okay, so this is our girl that we weren't convinced was a straight fire. Um, we do think that she's a paint. Um, again, lighting, foam, crap, picture. Doesn't show how bright she actually is. She's actually yellow. She's almost 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 luminous yellowy colour. Um, so she's been bred back to her dad, the faint boy. Um, like I said, super fires or super paints, either way, who cares? You know, we'll just prove her right, see what she is. If she's a single gene paint female, she'll stay. Um, if she's a fire female, she'll probably go up for sale. Um, so yeah, we'll see what happens with her. Okay, so this is our 100% het clown female. So she's a normal 100% het for clown. Um, I would really like to show you her head stamp if she's going to show me her head. Because it is just insane. I've never seen anything like it. There you go. Um, hang on. Yeah, there you go. And she's got that lovely little neck breaker as well. Um, she's an amazing girl. Really, really nice looking girl. Um, like I said, she, she did have a couple of locks with Beppo, the visual clown boy. Um, and she has had one confirmed lock with the pastel head clown. So, fingers crossed. 
Okay, so we're moving over into the quarantine area then. Um, we've got this little girl. She's a um, jigsaw, 100% hexanthic female. So she's absolutely gorgeous. Um, so she'll be able to come out quarantine soon. She's been there for quite a while now. Um, so we'll just see how she goes. So far, so good. Okay, so this boy is the boy that we won from um, Simon Ling's auction. Um, he is a Enchi Pastel Sugar Mail. Um, apologies for the crappy camera work and lighter than crap in here. Um, I like to keep it as dark as possible for them. So, that's him. He only arrived last Monday, so he's got to, you know, he's got to do it his time. Bless him. He's amazing. And then this girl is just, whew, she is insane, like insanely bright, everything. Um, she's a pastel and she yellow belly female. Um, came all the way from the Netherlands. Um, Simon very kindly um, bought her back from ham for me. So, I'm going to Two seconds. Wait. Try and hold the camera and bring it back at the same time. Good girl. All right, all right, sweetie. All right. Shh, 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 shh. Okay, right. I'm going to end the video there, guys, because she's getting stressed out and I don't want to stress them all out. But she's... Look at that flaming going up her sides. She is gorgeous. All right, so take care. Stay safe. Um, I'm going to disappear before she disappears. <laughs> um, thank you for watching. Um, like, subscribe, share this video. Apologies, I've rambled on a bit. Um, take it easy, guys. Bye.